Okay, I got this old O2 Jeep and I sold the motor out of it, so we gotta yank that out of there. Well, his lip really screams. <laughs> Pretty solid. Well, I got most of this off. What is holding this grill here? Must be a clip over on this side of the hold it. Good grill still. I didn't kill it too bad. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this junk. No. Saws all. start draining the antifreeze. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the bottom of this Jeep and it's got a bad spot in the frame, wouldn't pass inspection. Probably this mess back here, I don't know, all this rot and rust and garbage. So probably what I'm gonna do, oh, that's a slip yoke. I don't want to spill oil all over the world, so I'll probably cut that drive shaft. And this one I'll unhook because that is a hub that will not spew oil out. And I'm probably going to leave that transfer case right on the transmission. Drop the transmission out. Wow. A little bit of work to do. Well, better drain the fluids out. Well, needs a rear main seal too. But that's okay because he's gonna have that fixed. All right, I'm gonna leave the oil in it. I don't see any point in draining that. Where's the bad spot? I don't know. It's real bad in the back. Is it? I don't see any rot through spot. Well, they'll flunk you for this kind of thing oh, now. Rockers, frames, yeah. Yeah, rockers or frames, and both of them are gone. So. Yeah. Got a little rusty. You want to weld it back together, Con? Yeah. <laughs> Although. Oh, uh, the thing's 22 years old, huh? It would be neat. They're a unibody. Yeah. You know, you could put like a muscle car on one of these pretty cool. It would be neat. Four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that does that. I can't remember his channel name, but it's really good where he does Durangos, Hemi Durangos. Yeah. Puts old trucks and stuff on them. Oh, that's cool. If I can think of his name, I'll write it on the screen. Yeah, but that might have a. F well, Hemi Durango, they probably, they're probably unibody, right? No, they're framed, I think. The body on frame? I can't remember. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's rotten. It's rotten? Okay. I don't know if I want to deal with these because they're probably not going to come out good, but I can give it a try. Anyway, the first thing to do is get, get the water draining out. I'll go get my big bucket. How am I going to do it quick and easy? Got to figure that out. Oh, we got her draining. I cut this one. I think I'll unbolt it. I'll see if I can anyway. Making progress. I got that dangling, but there's like cables and stuff in the way. So I'm gonna have to cut them out. Ah, that was easy. I got that out of the way. I got some other stuff to get out of the way. And then we're gonna be good. We're gonna be pulling this out here pretty soon. Well, since I don't have a transmission jack, you have to do a little dance. We got that hanging there, and I got my little scaffold there, so I gotta let it down, then let that down, let it down, let it down, stages. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't drop the car on my head. That'd be nice.
Thanks, Connor. Well, that was relatively safe. It wasn't as dangerous as it looks. What kind of dangerous? Yeah, just loom, wire loom and stuff. All right, so I can get it pretty easy. The wires are all there. Yep, me too. Sure, nothing's burning down. Okay, we got her. Good day. A uh, couple hours tomorrow, I'll have it out completely. And palletize are ready to go. Now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. Back at it. Oh boy. You know, I'm just, uh, I haven't pulled a motor in quite a while. And it's taken me longer than I really expected it to, but I think I'm on my way finally. Oh, I'll get it out of here. I'm going to pick the car up off it. And then I'm going to hopefully have it all just sitting here on this old, uh, this little old scaffold. And then I'll wheel it out and then we'll yank the motor. Hmm. Whew. Well, I just moved it a little bit. Let's see if go up some more. All right, so now I got the uh, crank sensor in the way. I'm gonna see if I can pop it out. Aha. Clip that. Now let's see what happens. Something's still hanging me up. Looks like I'm getting there, finally. Okay, I hope I get up high enough so I can get this, this out without monkeying around with the filler tube. Nope, that's all the way up. Huh. All right, well, looks like I could pretty much wheel it out of there, except for the filler tube's a little high. So, uh, I'll have to deal with that. Well, we got it. We got this over here where it belongs <laughs> for right now. And if I go over here, I got the Jeep back on the ground. Now it's just a matter of taking apart everything up top and uh, yanking the thing out of here. I'm going to be a couple more hours on this nightmare. Ah, I wish it didn't take me so long, but hey, I'm old and slow. I think I got one last thing to do. Unhook that hose. It's going to spew oil all over. But I got the thing mostly up and out. Hook the chain there. I had to hook a chain to a, one of the bell housing bolts. Let's see what happens. I got a pan down there. This is gonna, yeah, there we go. All this oil. At least I'm getting it in the pan. Oh, it's only a little drip. Huh, not much at all. Who knew? I'm gonna jack this thing up out of there. All right, let's hold this.
Free on this side. And it's all free on this side. Time to start jacking. Feels like something's still making it tight. Every little thing grabs and hooks stuff. Oh, I love that music. Got my alternator wires. Look out, boy! I'm coming through. With more spewage. Where's all that oil coming from? Now the power steering pump decides to spew. Yeah, it's beautiful. Anyway, it looks like I got it out. I gotta call that guy and have him come pick it up and lay some. Lay some uh, greenbacks on me. Anyway, hope you liked this video. Kind of a quick one. Of course, aren't they all? Yeah, good enough. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys on the next one.